Well, it's a multi-million dollar plan to tackle one of the biggest problems in the Bay Area, homelessness. And now we're getting a look at the completed tiny home project that was launched in Santa Clara County. KPI X5 reporter Kid Doe live in San Jose with how the county hopes to scale up this project. Kit? Yeah, so this is a pilot project, the first of its kind in the South Bay. This is something that the county wants to broaden out. They want to see it adopted in other cities, and so there's a lot riding on its success. It's being called Casitas de Esperanza at the Civic Center. Hello. But to Raquel and her little sister Martha, it is safety and security. One of the little girls opened the door and she says, Mi casita, which means in English, my home, my little house. Aurelie and her husband had lost their jobs and got evicted. They used what little savings they had to buy an old RV and lived on the street for some time. When the RV started breaking down, they applied for and were approved for the tiny home and moved in just days ago. Pues me siento muy contenta. She wants to first start by thanking everybody for their support and she says that her and her family are very happy and pleased to be here. Her daughters are very excited. Their new home is a hundred square feet and feature insulated walls and flooring. Four twin beds, shelving for storage and a few power outlets. I can feel the hot air coming out. And comes with a heater and AC. The shared bathrooms and showers are inside a mobile trailer. There's a 400 square foot community room and a few tables for families to gather outside. The whole site is powered mostly by solar panels. The idea is to temporarily house 25 families for three to four months while they figure out a long-term solution. County Supervisor Cindy Chavez says they want to show that a tiny homes project can be a good neighbor. And then proving to the neighborhood that when we tell them that it's going to be a, a benefit for all, that it really is. And you can see that we've already cleaned it up from what it was to make it more appealing. But sometimes they call it nimbyism. Supervisor Otto Lee said they will be focused on keeping the sites clean and safe in order to manage any fears that neighbors might have. When people could see, could see the actual project that's successful, like this a pilot project and they say hey this is not as bad as I thought as for the cost it was 1.4 million dollars to prep and then build the site and then another 1.6 million dollars to maintain and operate it until 2023 so you're looking at ballpark figure about three million dollars to have this for two years live in downtown San Jose Kitto KPIX 5